um, I don't think policymakers understand the education catastrophe at our feet. They are speaking still across the country at federal and provincial and territorial levels alike as if the last two years didn't happen. It is a foreign concept to have children in Canada in the Oliver Twist condition, not in any education at all en masse. Mary Ugolini here with Rebel News. And as we approach the two year anniversary of two weeks to flatten the curve, it becomes abundantly clear to anyone outside of the COVID zero echo chamber that there has been massive collateral damage done not only to individuals, but also to various systems all across Canada. The very systems that make our country the true North strong and free. In today's interview, I am discussing a national exit plan that has been developed to choreograph and steer Canada out of this pandemic, because the longer that these catastrophic harms are imposed onto Canadians, the harder they're going to be to repair. This plan comes from a group called the Canada Science and Policy Committee. It's a collaborative think tank of doctors, scientists, and policy professionals. The exit strategy has broad scope that includes national recommendations, but it is further broken down into four geographic categories, Central, West, Atlantic, and North, in order to recognize specific criteria tailored to the needs of that particular geographic demographic. The committee has identified eight different systems that are all simultaneously in crisis, while we myopically focus on only one. Of course, that's COVID-19 public health. But there is also non-COVID public health, business and the economy, education, institutions, national unity, social fabric, and international systems that are in complete disarray. Joining me to discuss is president of the Institute of 21st Century Questions, publisher of Global Brief magazine, and the co-chair of the Science Committee, Irvin Studen. Questioning government's response goes against YouTube's soft censorship and community standards. To see this full uncensored report, please scroll down to the description below and click the link beside the full report to be redirected to a platform that does not engage in censorship of free speech. I will see you over there.